program. As you can see that I have written that add.c is a program to add and display the sum of n numbers. So the purpose is to show its structure. So this will not be executed in your program. It will not be displayed. This is just for the sake of knowledge of developer. So this is called documentation part. As you can see, here you can see the structure versus documentation structure. So this is for the sake of documentation. Then after you can use hash include asterisk.h. When we were doing this program, I have told you why we are including the standard I input output header file. I have told you that this is called header file and its extension is dot h. And we are including this external file from my computer to my program. Why it was needed? It was needed because whenever my compiler will encounter the word printf, it will not know the definition of this word. My computer may not know that what exactly this printf is doing. So at that time, it will search for this definition in the header file. If it found that, then it will uh, execute accordingly. There exist so many header files and I am going to cover it next, in next slides. So this is called linking uh, section because I am linking my um, unknown terms in the main program to the external files. Right? So this is called linking because as you can see in the yellow part inside the main, whenever I am using for or sorry printf or something like that, it will ask for the definition in the uh, that, that include section. So that is called linking. Right? The next session, you can see the linking over here. The next session is the definition section. In the definition section in one program, in the program of finding the area of circle, I have shown you that how you can define pi. I was defining pi as 3.14 at the beginning of this program. And at each equation, I was using pi pi. If you have not referred that video, then you can just walk, go and watch that video. At that, I have uh, defined here, I have defined last similar way, and in that program, I have defined pi. So, suppose I want to define something like this constant, then I can use uh, this section. Basically, this section is called macros, for which I am going to conduct a separate session. So, don't worry about it. Right now, just understand that this section is called definition section. And inside this uh, session, I can define some macro. Here, last is called micro. Right? How exactly it's working, I am going to cover it in detail in separate video. So, don't worry. Then after, you can see the global declaration session. Till now, in any program, I have not used global declaration. I have just used declaration inside main. Like int a, int b, int sum, int add, int sub, etc. But here, suppose you want one variable to be accessed by the entire program. Then you can declare it outside main also. Right? And there are some rules. Uh, if you want to declare it outside as well as one new variable inside. That is called static and dynamic scoping that will be covered when we are covering the functions. So right now just understand that you can declare something outside of main function also and that is called global declaration, uh, declaration section. Then comes our main part, the main function. I have told you that the program execution start from main and as we are enclosing main in the curly braces you can use any other sub programs or other functions also that is the last section that is sub program section on functions. You can use variety of functions there. Main is also a function but you cannot use main function twice in your program or more than two times twice or more than two times. Main function should be unique. So remember this that your program execution starts from main and that's why you don't want 
to confuse your computer and that's why there is only a single main function inside your computer system and inside the main there is basically two section uh, declaration part and execution part so suppose here i have declared int i equal to 0 and all that part is called declaration because i am declaring each of the variable that i am going to use in my program Suppose I am uh, writing a program to subtract two numbers, so, so that's why I have to take two numbers from this uh, user and I have to store them to some third variable. So I have to declare those variables first. So that is called declaration section. And wherever I am uh, writing printf, scanf, or I am uh, uh, writing some kind of equations, that is called execution part. So main part is basically divided in two parts. Right? And last but not least, we can use the list of functions. Here I have used a function add. Now what exactly the function is, that I am going to cover in a separate lectures. So don't worry. So this is all about the structure of C. Here, I, for, uh, for the sake of your uh, notes, I have covered this in a uh, detail way. First is documentation section, which covers basically comments. I have already explained some of this part, so I am basically focusing on some highlighted part. So basically there are two types of comments, first is single line and other is multi line. So now first let me show you that what exactly the single line comment look like. So here you can see our IDE window. Inside this window suppose I am writing something as slash single line comments. Then if I just hit enter and write this is second line. You can see the difference of in colors. First is command but if I just save this program as untitled and if I just compile it and run it you can see for, for first line it is not giving me any error but for second line it is saying this is not the name of a type. Which is kind of error because my compiler could not understand the statement. So this is not considered as comment because here I have used single line comment by double slash. If I want to make this comment, I can comment it by putting double slash. So same way if I am writing 100 lines of code for command and I am commenting it, it, each line must have double slashes. So this can be headache, right? So there exists a way in which I can just use one symbol for all. So let me just erase this for each line. So now you can see for each line it is say uh, it is something as comment. But suppose I am writing star sorry hash include stdio.h. So now stdio.h is also considered as comment. So I have to stop this comment somewhere. So for that I am using this sign. So now this will not be considered as comment. You can see the color difference. So first was the double slash was called single line comments and see, uh, this uh, slash star star slash is called multi line comments. I hope you understand this. Now let me begin with the next session that is link section. So, for link section, here I have included a header file, stdio.h, which is nothing but the standard input output file. Then after I am writing, int main and return 0. Now, suppose I am writing printf, hello link section, then you know that whenever my, comp first my compiler will include this file. Then, my execution will start from me. Then it will encounter a statement printf and something is written inside the printf. Now my compiler doesn't know the definition of this printf. So it will link this printf with the external header file which is included using include stdr.h. So that's why it is called link section. I hope you guys are clear with this code. So let's, uh, let's continue with our PowerPoint presentation. Now, as you can see on the screen, there exist so many header files. 
for C programming language. In my live session, I have already told you to search for this header files. I hope many of you have searched it, right? So, as you can see, first is standard input output file that is stdr.h, which is basically used for input output functions. Now, which are those input output functions? Printf, scanf, such kind of functions can be accessed using this header file. This header file contains a predefined library functions that are very useful and make our code more easy. Right? Then after we can see conio.h which is basically for console input output. Then math.h which consists of some functions of mathematics like power functions, exponent, etc. Right? Then after we can see string.h. We are going to cover this header file in the chapter of arrays and strings. It contains a lot of useful uh, predefined uh, string functions which can be used and which will just optimize our code. Then after you can see the C tag.h which is nothing but some, uh, some uh, header file which deal with our character uh, handling functions. Then after time.h Suppose you want to add kind of time, date and time in your program. One of my students have made a program while I was teaching this. He was wondering that where this time.h can be used and he made a program in which uh, he made a timer which continuously goes on the timer 0, 1, 2 like you know so if you want to make a timer you can also um, try that at your home as a homework pro problem timer h can be used to deal with date and time and last but not the least std lid right this header file is basically used for general utility functions so this is all about the header file you can easily google this files and know which are the functions contained by this header files. Now then after if I go further uh, the next session was the definition session and I have to, to already told you that you can define pi and I have already shown you the program in which I was using define pi 3.14 the program in which I was calculating the area of circle. So uh, this is to define all the symbolic constant and macros. For macros I am going to cover separate sessions so don't worry about it right now just understand this concept. Then after the next is global declaration session in which I can declare any variable outside of main which is accessible by each of the function declared in my program only within the program not outside of program right. Then after the main function main function is very unique function you cannot use so second main function in your program because our program execution start with main program and if you are using more than one main functions then my computer can be confused at from where to start executing program. As I already covered that main function consists of two parts declaration part and execution part. You can see the notes for uh, that uh, thing over here right. Then after sub program section. In sub program section you can make your own functions like main. Right? Main is predefined function but like main you can you, uh, uh, make something as add sub power and there are so many functions. Then we are going to make our own functions in the chapter of functions. So please uh, be patient till that. Right? So this is all about the structure of C programming language. From next section, I am going to cover C tokens. I hope you enjoyed this class and understand this video. I will see you in the next class. Thank you so much.